do you know how long this has taken me to get on video? Um, I'm going to move and then this whole bed is going to move. So this might be shaky. So I apologize ahead of time. Um, I've been wanting to talk about this for about a week and a half. And you know me, when things start to become repetitive in my coaching, I have to come and talk to you. But I have been on the road. I'm in an RV for two weeks. So <laughs> trying to find Wi-Fi is not exactly the funnest thing. Haven't showered in two days. I had a massage yesterday, so my hair is all greasy. And, um, and I'm okay with that, you know. I just want to get on here and just speak my heart because this has been coming up so much. And here's the thing. We have so many uh, programs out there. Can you guys hear me? I think I realized that I'm on this and I don't know if I, yeah, let me, just let me know if you can hear me. Um, or if you can't hear me, I guess is better. One of the things that keeps coming up is, um, you know, there's, there's two things. One is, which program do I use? Um, another one is, you know, I'm not getting any people coming to me in, um, I'm not getting enrollments like I used to, or I'm not getting any enrollments now. I'm not passionate anymore. I'm losing my, my whatever. Um, my question for people these days is, are you bringing doTERRA to you? Or are you doing doTERRA? And we hear this a lot, right? Do you want to do doTERRA as a business? Do you want to do doTERRA as a business? And one, one new question that I want to ask is, do you want to bring doTERRA to you, to your message, to your purpose? Do you want to bring doTERRA toward you and your reason for coming? So the first thing that I want to ask is, um, and actually I'm doing a Deb Erickson program, so I'll talk about these programs in a second. But the first thing I want to ask that was asked today in this program by her is, who are you? What is your purpose? What do you, what is your why? What is your purpose? And, um, and I want to give you an example of what happened to me when I first started doTERRA. I didn't join doTERRA. doTERRA joined me. I'm going to repeat that. I didn't join doTERRA. doTERRA joined me. I invited doTERRA into my message. I remember before I started doTERRA, I was, I, I already had a purpose. I already had a message. I was, I wanted people to, you know, be their higher self, be their, their greatest self, have the energy that they need. And and doing it by nutrition, a healthy lifestyle, you know, mindset stuff. And so when I did my first classes, do you know that I hardly even talked about essential oils? I had a, I, I bought, just bought a family physician's kit. It was my very first class. There was five people that came. I think my class was over an hour, probably an hour and a half. And I talked about removing gluten from your diet, removing dairy from your diet, becoming the better version of yourself. Um... You know, standing true in your purpose. So all of these things that has been my message all the way across, I didn't have any programs. I didn't have any upline to really like valuably mentor me into these, into these ideas. Um, somebody, she helped me with my first class and it was a very basic class. It was, what's your why? Why are you here? Uh, here's why I'm here. Uh, let me show you why I'm doing doTERRA. Um, let me show you, let me hand out the, the essential oils to you. Um, I don't even know much about the essential oils, but I'm going to hand them out and just say, hey, don't they smell good? But let me show you my message. Let me show you my heart. And what we do when we incorporate these, these um, programs, and so we'll talk about the Emerge program, the Deb Erickson I Can Institute, Tiffany Peterson, Sandy Alemian, Brianne Hovey, Angelina Deweese. Like we can talk about all of these programs that we, that we have, and I've been incorporating them gradually. I don't know if you've noticed, but every year I incorporate a new coach into, into our team. And the reason I do that is because I see a missing component to your business. And it's not even always for all of you. It's sometimes just for some of you. And so I'll incorporate it. So for instance, you know, in the beginning, we talked about heart and, and mindset. You know, Brianne came on and, and she was like my biggest 
advocate. Like I loved her. I followed her and I wanted to be like her. And so I incorporated her into my business and she talked all about mindset, 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 heart, heart, mindset. And, and then I noticed, oh, everyone, we're missing soul in a, in, in a, in a way that we haven't talked about. And so I incorporated Sandy and then we started going, and then I realized, oh my gosh, guys, we have mindset. We've got soul. What we're missing now is skill set. And so then I incorporated Emerge and now I'm incorporating Deb Erickson because I feel like what we're missing is the action and how to incorporate the action into your head so that you can take what you've learned and go. So now we've got most components. My question for you is, are you just offering a coach because it's the next best thing, it's the newest thing? Or are you looking at your team's why, their purpose, their message and saying, what is it? What are you missing? Let's incorporate the right coach for the, for the right person, for the right message. Because if you just come on in here and say, hey, listen, I've got this great coach and she's great. And you go in there and you've already got soul. You've got your mindset figured out. You've got your soul figured out, but you're lacking in skills, in leadership then you don't need somebody like Sandy. I mean, I think everybody needs her, but <laughs> you may not need that because you already have that covered. Does that make sense to you guys? Because, and, and so don't just say, hey, you need to go and buy this program. Hey, you need to do this program because that's not what we're doing here. We are looking at the missing holes and we're incorporating into that. So let's now go back into the message and bringing doTERRA into your message. So the the bottom line for me is this who are you what what's your message what's your purpose invite doTERRA into that so let's break it down who are you you know what's your name who are you what do you what's your purpose on this earth and so let's just use another example of I am a business um, savvy person and I've I'm very disciplined I'm very organized I'm very structured and what my message is, is helping people with weight loss. That's my sole purpose because it's my story, you know? So let's just say that this is your story and, you know, skincare and aging well and weight loss, you know, aging well in that energy, then maybe your story is, is that, you know? And then we come along and we introduce Emerge, say, right? And we go out there and we say, okay, this is the script, go do it. And you go out there and you're like, okay, you should buy the Home Essentials Kit and the Family Physicians Kit. And uh, let me just talk about peppermint and lemon and da, 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 da. And you sit there and you get lost in the sales. And you've lost your message and you've lost your heart. Then you've lost your purpose in why you're doing this and incorporating it into your message. My hope for you is that you know your purpose, you know your message, and how does doTERRA then get invited into that message? Not what is your message and how do you invite your message into doTERRA? It doesn't work that way. What's your story? And most times your message comes from your own story, right? Like, oh my gosh, I used to be 100 and 100,000 pounds and I've lost a thousand of that and so my story is weight loss then that's your message. If it, if it resonates with you, maybe you don't even want to talk about that. But what is your message? Is your message about, you know, kids? Is your message make and takes? You know, that that's your specialty? What's your specialty? Invite doTERRA into that specialty. I'm going to say this lastly. A lot of times I'm seeing this, and you guys know me, I'm not a social uh, media advocate. I'm a social media advocate after you've already succeeded or in private messaging, but I'm not an advocate for going out there on social media and trying to attract people. I think it's, I think it's baloney. I see a lot of people wasting a lot of time on social media because most of the time, and you'll agree with me on this, you know, let me know if you disagree, but you'll agree on me with me on this when I say most of the time, the people that come into doTERRA, especially in the last two to three years, or maybe you've been doing this for four or three to five years, I would say, right? And you sit there and you're seeing these social media gurus come up and they're, and they've got this message and they've got all these people liking their stuff and they're all these people commenting. Most of the people who are commenting are actually just other people from other doTERRA teams. They're not attracting new people. 
What are you doing on social media? You're just attracting more doTERRA people. And if that's your message, if that's your purpose, then do that. But that's not how to do doTERRA. In fact, you're distracting yourself from your business by going on social media and talking about the things that you're passionate about. Is that okay? Absolutely, it's okay. But don't then come to me and say, Donna, I'm doing all these hours of doTERRA. I'm getting out there. I'm planning my videos. I'm going out there incorporating my videos. I would love to see the numbers of how many people you've enrolled in the last 12 months from social media alone. I'd love to see them. Send me them. Send me them. Prove to me that I am wrong. <laughs> If you have been, if you have already been a social media savvy person and you had, you know, you have a lot of newer people or um, not newer people, but you've, you've had people that have been attracted to your social media already before doTERRA, then use it. You know, you, you'll probably, you know, grab one or two people, but most of the time it's personal. You're getting on the personal accounts. You're inviting them on a personal message. It's not by you planning a big half hour long talk on Facebook and thinking that you're going to attract people. I see it all the time. And they're, and they're in there and they're just attracting doTERRA people from other teams, cross teams, people who are maybe are on my team, but they're not even on your team, you know? And so... Nadia says, yes, it takes years to build up. And not only does it take years to build up, but while you're building that up, we're all enrolling people over here. We're all out in the community enrolling the people that you're working years to build up for. <laughs> who are you attracting? You're attracting people who are going to enroll with me. And then they're going to go and see your videos because you're on my Facebook page or you're on my Holistic Healthy O page. And we are sitting here attracting or enrolling all the people that you're working so hard on social media to attract. And if it's not me, it's somebody else on another team. So I, I want to bring this up because of this. Know your message. Speak to that message. What's your, what's your target audience? What's your message? How do you incorporate doTERRA into that? And if you get out there and you're having a problem selling, it's probably because your message from your heart is not clear. What's your message, you guys? Is it, is it coming from your heart or are you just trying to sell a kit? Because if you're just trying to sell a kit, people are going to see that. They're going to know you're just trying to sell a kit. What's your purpose? When I had that first class, and I'll finish with this, when I had that first class and five people showed up, my passion was clear. I sat there and I said, you guys, you've got to stop eating the crap that's causing all of these mental anguishes. They're causing you to not be energetic. They're causing behavioral issues in your kids. They're stopping you from your greatness. They are stopping you from rising to the true self because physically we can't handle our soul rising when we're tired and we're depressed and we've got to look at what we're eating. And I would speak that over their lives for an hour, hour and a half. And then all of a sudden they would be like, oh my gosh, Donna, I don't care what you're selling. I want what you have. Whatever it is that you're selling, I don't care if it's shoelaces. I'm going to buy it because I'm buying you. I'm buying your message. I'm buying your heart. I'm buying your conviction. If you walk into a class and you have no conviction over anything, you've got no message, it's not clear, there's no purpose, and you're just out there selling kits, they're not going to want to be a part of your world. But if you go out there and you say, listen, I've lost a thousand pounds and I want, to, I want you to know that if you are struggling with this, I've got a message for you. And at the end of this class, I have tools in my toolbox that I know is going to serve and support you to rise to your greatest. And I want you to come and team with me because I'm going to stand by your side. I'm going to put my arms around you and I'm going to say, you can do this. I'm going to encourage you. You can be a part of my team because every time anybody joins my team, you're joining a group of awareness. You're joining a group of women, a group of men who come together and say, we're going to fall forward together. Together. We're going to stumble forward together. I have a message and it's clear. And I'm using doTERRA to support my message because it's beautiful. Because when you are a part of this, when you are a part of this community, you get to be empowered. You get to be a part of a community that helps you rise to your greatest. Your greatest. 
You get to be a part of something that's going to bring you face to face with self because this is a network marketing company. We are a team of people. And when we get on into the community more than anything else that I've ever been a part of, it's personal. It's absolutely personal. When you show up nine to five, yeah, you can rub up against some hurts and pains and disappointments, but nothing like this. And so if you want to grow self, become a part of doTERRA. Not just any network marketing company, but become a part of something that is going to allow you the ability to rise to a place you've never been able to rise to. It's going to bump up against your wounds. Are you ready? Do you want to be a part of this? Then I invite you because my message is clear. I have a message of hope and I want you to be a part of that. And when you join my team, this is what you get. You're not just getting these tools. You're getting me. You're getting a a group of women and men who are on the same path, rising to their greatest self. You want to be a part of that? Let's do this. All you got to do is get this membership, get these tools in your toolbox, and we will be a part of a team of a greater awareness that there's something more in your life that you need. There's something more to you than you ever thought possible. And becoming an entrepreneur in a place where we have some of the greatest tools that I've ever used in every single aspect of your health, of your mindset, of your soul work, of your physical uprising. (laughs) I've never had such powerful tools before. And so when you get these tools in your world, if you incorporate these tools into your world, you get all of this. Join me. Join my message. Join my team. Join my community. They're joining you. What's your purpose? What's your message? How do you incorporate doTERRA into that and go into every single class that you have? I don't care what kind of class it is, but go and speak with conviction. And you will succeed.